week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Bob Arum. Get this. Arum criticizes Hearn, and he says that Fury's license is a non-issue. Eddie puts his nose into everyone else's business. Bob Arum thinks that Eddie Hearn is making a big fuss over nothing. Hearn, the head of Matchroom Boxing, hinted in recent interviews that the WBC heavyweight titleist Tyson Fury may run into hurdles getting licensed by the British Board of Boxing Control, the governing body that oversees prize fighting in the United Kingdom ahead of Fury's project or projected title defense on April 13th against mandatory countrymen and long time Hearn client Dillian White at Wembley Stadium in London. Fighters in the UK are required to have a license with the body in order to participate in sanctioning or sanction fights. Fury's under British national from Manchester has not been licensed with the BBB of C for some time now. In 2020, Boxing Scene reported that Fury had put in a formal request with the body to relinquish his license ahead of his scheduled rematch against Deontay Wilder. That February at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Fury has not fought on UK soil since August of 2018, a points win over Pianetta in Belfast. <clears throat> and Aram had this to say about Frank Warren. He said Tyson Fury has, sorry, about um, Eddie Hearn. He said Tyson Fury has become an American fighter. Aram told uh, IFL TV he has been licensed by Nevada and in both in and out of the ring, he has been ready. Okay. Therefore, based on the license in Nevada, I'm sure that the British board will respect the license and that will be a non-issue. Aram, who is nearly twice as old <clears throat> as the 42-year-old Hearn, advised the relatively young youngster that he would be expounding on matters of which he has direct knowledge. He says the problem with Eddie, <clears throat> I'm going to say it in Bob Aram's way. The problem with Eddie is that he puts his nose without knowing in everyone else's business. I mean, look at the difference between Frank Warren and myself. We don't abide on Eddie. Maybe this, maybe that. It's none of our business. Frankly, we don't know. We have enough with our businesses. Eddie wants to put his nose in everyone's business. Pass me the blunt. <laughs> you gotta love Aram. And he said, again, I put up to the fact that he is still a novice in the business and I promoted fights with his father, a terrific guy, and his father, Barry Hearn, would be appalled with Eddie's conduct. Let me stop right there, man. So basically, Bob Arum is saying like Eddie Hearn should stop worrying about something that's not an issue. You can't necessarily say that it's not his, but then you can too because Eddie's not promoting the fight. So for that reason, Bob's like, you're not promoting the fight. So why are you worried? Well, uh, the promoter, though, is still Dillian White until further notice, I would assume. So. Um, but understand something. I think a lot of times people. Uh, interview Eddie because Eddie he's open to interviews he's an open gate you know if you were around Eddie and he wanted to do an interview he would do one with you you know what I mean like he will go from person to person to person to fight hub to behind, beyond the gloves to uh, fight height you know he will go down the list IFL TV you name it that's him so when they ask him something he just says what's really on his mind a lot of the times and a lot of times he does say things or whatever but again, he's an open guy, so he just really speaks his mind. And I don't think he um, is censored and I don't have any reason for him to censor or to not say something that he thinks and he feels. So, um, but Bob, though, back to him, it's hilarious that, you know, he pulled the age card on him, the experience card, the EXP, right? He, um, 
he said basically, you know, Eddie Hearn don't know what he's doing because he's too young, right? And his dad will be ashamed of him. <laughs> Sorry, appalled. So, you know, that was um, a, a good, a, a, a nice counterpunch from Bob Arum. But we will see because you remember that when, when Tyson Fury beat the shit out of Deontay Wilder in their second fight, you know the the narratives were going around and I don't know how true they were, but it was that Tyson Fury couldn't fight in the UK, you know, and they had brought the BBB of C. They had brought up new allegations or whatever. I don't know how true that really is. Um, but they, um, but it had something to do with his license. And the reason why he didn't apply there is because, he was under scrutiny from what he did before with the wild boar meat and the Martin Carefoot and all that mess. But I do remember that. And because, I mean, certain channels used to make two or three videos a day concerning the same damn thing. Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury and what he did and what he tested positive of Nandrolone back in the day. You know, to me, it seems like double, je double jeopardy because it's like you let this man come back and fight in 2018 and that's two years after he was suspended. So why would two years later you would want to reopen something so you can suspend him again? So it made no sense to me. You know, it looks like it was just a, uh, an opportunity for people to hate on Tyson Fury at the time. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Bob Arum shooting back at Eddie Hearn. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.